father was a victim of the Red Army fracturing in the 70s in Germany. Um, it was July 77. They wanted to kidnap him, in fact, but uh, he refused to go with them. So immediately they killed him in our home. And my mother was a witness. Uh, one of the girls, there were three coming in the home, was the daughter of one of the closest friends of my father's university time. Uh, so in childhood we had uh, birthday celebrations together, we had carnival together and like uh, 20 years later she moved into the house uh, as a terrorist. And she prepared for two years, she made some visits, she showed herself as being a student and trying to work in Frankfurt and of course we welcomed her and she lived in our home and they prepared very well. They never told the real historic truth of their attacks and of their supporters and uh, of uh, the people behind them. And so I will not just uh, have this uh, uh, formulation of forgiving. No, I, I have a, a formulation of uh, asking the truth from them. We broke up, the families broke up completely for over 30 years. And uh, Julia, the sister of Susanne, wrote me a letter since I had one interview in a newspaper. After 30 years, she wrote me a letter, very, very touching, um, that she, uh, yeah, she can see my side so well and that she would love to meet me. And uh, I wrote back immediately. It was such a relief, in fact. So we met a year after. All these pictures are important for the memory and they connect. They show that it was not a national problem, but it was uh, European terrorism and that it was the beginning of the international terrorism as well. That is very important. It's a, it's a development uh, from uh, starting up with a very low, very silent voice. Uh, to be here is that the voices get connected. That is so beautiful about this week in Madrid. Your experience is one thing, but how you feel about your experience, that makes your destiny. And uh, I think these are very beautiful lines for these days too, because you always can feel everybody has a fixed experience, brutal experience, terrible experience, but they transformed it through their look on it. And so that is the strength of the stories. They give uh, back identity. My mother uh, founded a, a foundation, um, being having donations from all over the country for support of young musicians. Uh, we work very cre creatively on cultural uh, effort. That was the energy we had. Politically, we had none because uh, we were too, too uh, alone and we had no organization. And now with the book, it's another track. It opens up more politically. We, I go in schools a lot. We did a lot of readings in schools with Julia. But again, there, uh, my energy is connected to Julia. We are always together, and only there I feel strong. And that's the same with her. We never would have done it alone. We had all this brutal and weapon and death uh, themes, and we answer with words, which is so powerful. But uh, in fact, it also came into my mind, why don't we ask the terrorists for counter narrations? We have terrorists attack, as we know of the stories, and every day we have this fear focused in other parts of the world. Why not having terrorists having counter narrations and say, stop of terrorism? I think that would be a stro very strong demand too. Not only us.